Before you guys start asking why the hell I am making a Roblox video, wrap it up. You see, my little cousins got me to play Roblox and I am having a lot of fun. I am in my mid 20s, so I am not really an old guy. Yes, you are. So, because of my cousins, I had to open my potato PC to download Roblox and the experience was terrible. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? That was not my gameplay, but that was how my game looked. If I had tried recording my screen, my PC would have blown up, and I am not kidding. I am not lying. I had to put on my nerd glasses so I could feel intelligent and solve this issue. The first thing I did was to go to my battery to set the power option. I created this power plan, and if you want to create yours, just click over here, create a power plan, and then click on high performance. I didn't just stop there, I hit the Windows and R key to bring out the run menu. I typed in temp, and what it did was to bring out the temporary files. I hit Ctrl A to highlight all of them, and then right clicked, and then deleted. The funny thing here is not all of them will delete, as some belong to the apps that are still open on the PC. I also repeated the same steps for percentage, temp percentage. You have to do this every time you want to play Roblox. It sounds stressful but totally worth it. The next thing I did was I had to stop apps from running in the background. I went to settings, searched up background apps and turned it off. Easy. That just reminded me of when a kid beat me in Rivals and typed easy. The last thing I did which ended up being the icing on the cake was I downloaded Blockstrap. Blockstrap is an application that can customize the settings of the Roblox app. I added the download link to the video description so go over there if you want to download it. Inside of Blockstrap, you don't really need integrations and mods to help in reducing lag but you can use them to customize your experience inside of Roblox. To reduce lag, we will have to go into fast flags, keep anti-aliasing at automatic and turn on disable shadows, post processing, effects and textures. My frame limit is set to 99999. Nine, nine, nine. But you can set yours to 120 or 240, but 99 can still be selected. This all depends mostly on the refresh rate of your monitor. Preferred lighting technology should be put on chosen by game. If your PC is more potato than my PC, you should turn on preserve ranging quality. This will reduce the graphics of your game, but it will feel smoother, so it's kind of worth it. You can also reduce the game textures further by changing texture quality. Level 0 is the lowest, and level 3 is the highest. Hit save, close the block strap app, and open it up again. This will make it load up Roblox, and you can test out the games now. You could also use an already made preset, the link is in the video description. Open the link and you can copy either balance graphics or potato graphics, all depending on how bad your PC is. Once you have it copied, head over to Blockstrap. To open the Blockstrap editor, just go to the start menu and look for Blockstrap menu. Then go to fast flags and scroll all the way to the bottom, click fast flag editor. A prompt will come out, click I know what I'm doing because obviously you know what you are doing. Click add new, import JSON and hit save. Close the menu, open Roblox through the Blockstrap app and you are ready to go. For mobile players, I will make a guide for you so subscribe so you won't miss it. Bye.